Hello, so I thought I'd just do a very quick video trying out this can of Gloy model colour that came with the Atlantium bus kit. Um, we know it dates to the late 70s, mid to late 70s. Um, it's white gloss and I thought it'd be quite fun to just see if we can open the can, give it a stir, paint something and see if it comes out the right colour. So as you can see here I basically just tell you the usual thing of give it a good stir and allow six hours between coats. All right, so it's 14 mils of paint. So this is like kind of the equivalent of your Humbrols. Um, and other, other brands of paint are available. Now, I had a look around the internet and I couldn't find much information on Gloy. Um, they obviously made uh, paints for models and they had a range of paints which were for uh, railway use, railway modeling use. Um, and looking at uh, modelling forums, there seems a bit of a love-hate relationship. Some people seem to love the paints, and other people hated them, so not really enough information to really base anything on. So anyway, we've opened the can, and so we put the lid on a piece of card. And as you can see, it's not quite white, but I think it's just separated out a bit. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll give the paint a good stir with some uh, cocktail sticks, and see what happens. Now, as you'd expect, the solids in the paint have settled on the bottom of the tin, and I'm just sort of prying them off the bottom of the tin and trying to get them uh, broken up. Um, but it's actually doing it. I mean, it's like it's just, you know, it's, it's actually coming up okay. Now, I did get nearly all the solids beaten up into submission, but there was just a little tiny little bit left in the bottom, and I was done where I thought, eh, it'll be all right. So what we'll do is we'll paint uh, some on a model, some on a piece of plastic, and some on a piece of card, and see how it comes out. Now true to form, the uh, camera ran out of memory and corrupted the file where I was painting the uh, various surfaces. So as you can see, I've painted some on a piece of plastic, clear plastic from the blister of the bus box. I painted some on this uh, old dinky police uh, transit, I paint some on a piece of cardboard, so it's just different surfaces to see how the paint gets on. And what we'll do is we'll leave this to dry for six hours and see how, and see uh, what the result is. Okay, so here we are. Um, the paint's dried. Well, it's like slightly tacky to the touch. I think it really needs like uh, overnight or 24 hours to dry properly, but it's good enough to recoat anyway. And um, as you can see, there's nothing wrong with the pigment and its coverage and it hasn't gone funny, it hasn't cracked up or changed colour or anything so it seems stable. Right, so as you can see the paint has covered the uh, orange and the white as you'd expect. I would say the paint's slightly watery but uh, and it has run I know but yeah, whatever, it's just a test. And as you can see it looks, still looks to be pretty usable. Or have, unlike this transit at the moment. <laughs> but we'll get to that another day. So it's well and truly busted. And it's come up with you know a fairly reasonable shiny surface on it as well. Uh, you know, a couple of coats, three coats, that would uh, make quite a decent uh, surface. Now the other thing I've noticed is that the uh, paint doesn't smell very much. It has, a, it has a smell, but it doesn't smell like the Humbrol paints. It's got a different uh, odour. And um, considering it's over 40 to 45 years old, this uh, can, it's still usable. Um, so there you go. Who knew? Which is one you can say for the uh, files of Humbrol enamel in the, in the kits with that cork stopper where it must have just let the... Uh, chemicals uh, leak out and uh, the paint went off very rapidly, but this has lasted a long time Anyway, I thought I'd just share that with you. Okay. See you in the next video and bye